Hi everyone, Matt from Got a Groove Records here, and I am going to be talking about our tool called the Custom Record Builder today. So basically, on our website, there's a couple different places to access it. You can access it on the pricing page, which also has our PDF price grids available. Um, we'll continue to have those available on the website for people who prefer those, but we found that they're a little bit clunky to look at, especially on a mobile device. So the record builder is a little bit more useful when you're not at an actual computer screen. Uh, they can be used, or the record builder can be used both for just checking out price quotations, but it also serves as our online order platform. So. When you're ready to place an order, you click place an order, and you'll see there's three options, 12 inch standard weight, 180 gram, and seven inch. Basically, you just click the one that you're looking to order, and it will take you to the proper page for that format. Each format has its own record builder page, so you know at the top you're on the right one. Uh, but for example, this is what the seven inch looks like. And then, of course, the 180 gram would say 180 gram at the top. But for purposes of showing you how to use it, we're just going to be focusing on the 12 inch standard weight record builder page. Uh, but they all work the same way. They all have the basic same overlay options. And um, it's just that obviously 7 inches have a little bit different packaging options than 12 inch. Uh, so to get started, uh, there's instructions at the top. Uh, you can call or email us if you run into anything that get, you get stuck on. You can also access those PDF price grids that we've always had on our website directly from each of the record builder pages. Uh, if you just Also, if you've emailed us already and you have a custom quote, for example, you're doing multiple different variants in the same order, 100 plain, 100 yellow, 100 black, something like that, well, then you would just click here, and it takes you to a separate page, which allows you to actually paste that quote that you've received via email into the top and it skips over all of the other options of the record builder and kind of just speeds you through the process since you've already got your price quote. But let's just assume that you're starting from scratch and um, you're looking to place an order today. So first step would be the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Uh, it, we have the old fashioned order form still available on our website. So if you've been an existing customer for a long time and you're accustomed to using the order form that we've been using for the past eight years or so, you can still access it here. Uh, but we do find that most people will find the record builder be a little bit easier because it actually gives you pricing in real time. So step one is the records. Uh, lists here at the top each of the items that are included when you uh, place a full package order with us. Um, then you basically will select your final color first and then your quantity will put down 500 and boom, puts the total for this particular step right here in this box. And this basically covers all of these items that are included above. Lacquers, plating, test pressings, you get five by default. Uh, basic labels, there's a link to click if you need a little bit more explanation on what basic labels means. And plain white paper inner sleeves are the default for standard weight. On 180 gram, you actually have a default option of rice paper sleeves. You can upgrade the rice paper sleeves for standard weight as well. well. We'll go over that a little bit later in the process. Now, say, for example, you're only ordering print from us and no records. Occasionally, sometimes people will do that because they've already got their records from somewhere else, or they maybe have ordered records from us and then didn't have their art ready and want to order jackets months down the line. You can do that as well on the record builder. You just basically select this option that says no records. We're going to stick with black vinyl, though, for today. Uh, you'll see that when you order color vinyl, you only have the option of one color when you're going through the record builder. So what I mentioned earlier about doing different variants, uh, you know, 100 of one color, 200 of another color, etc., you would just have to email us for a custom quote if you're looking to do something like that. And you can always reach us at this email address, sales at gotagroovedrecords.com. So again, we're going to stick with black for purposes of this illustration. Uh, the first option that comes up after the the uh, first step is test cuts. And if you're not sure what that means, it gives you a little help bubble to click. Uh, basically, test cuts are recordings off of a lacquer. We, we 
cut a few samples, sample of each track that you send us into a lacquer, and then we record it back and email it to you in a WAV file for approval. Uh, it's not the entire record, it's not the entire track, it's just snippets of each track to give you an idea of how your masters are translating to vinyl. The more traditional option would be full reference lacquers. Uh, that's where you actually have us cut your entire record onto a reference disc that we then mail to you or ship to you for approval. Um, that's the option that has always been around since really the early days of making records. Uh, it does cost more. So we have the test cuts option because a lot of times bands in particular may not have the full reference lacquers in their budget, but it's still a good idea to hear how your audio is translating to vinyl before getting all the way to test pressings because it can be an expensive fix if there was some sort of a mastering issue that could have been corrected earlier in the process by the time you get the test pressings. So we're gonna select test cuts for purposes of the illustration and then we'll continue. Uh, the plating upgrades, three-step plating, generally speaking, you only really need to consider it if you're doing 2,000 or more records. Um, you can select it if you want to still include three-step plating if you're only ordering 500 records, for example. Uh, there are some reasons to do that. They're a little bit more complicated, so we won't get into detail here. Uh, you feel free to call us to go over that in more detail. Similarly, groove coated stampers are a proprietary type of stamper that we offer, and it just, just helps the stampers to last longer. Again, it's probably an option you don't need if you're ordering less than a thousand records, but occasionally some, someone will want to do that, so we do give you the option no matter how many records you're ordering. We're not going to select either of those right now, and uh, we're just going to proceed to labels. Uh, by default, basic labels are included. Again, at the top, there was a, a link that you could click. If you're not sure what basic labels mean, gives you a few picture examples. Also in our art guide that comes with our templates, there are specific instructions that are about labels. We, we encourage you to read that. We encourage no matter how experienced a designer you're working with or how experienced of a designer you may be, uh, we do want you to read that art guide because labels are very esoteric and there's a lot of things that you would not necessarily think of if you didn't read the document, but it also goes into full explanation of what basic labels mean. Quick, a quick explanation is black and white print or single color print on a single solid color background, and we have a list of colors that you can pick from on the art guide. If you want to do something beyond those parameters, these are the other options. You can do full color labels. Uh, you could do silver or gold Pantone inks printed on a solid back, black background or you could do black printed on a solid silver or gold background. Um, you can do no labels. The main thing to keep in mind when you do no label records, or if you do a record where there's only a label on one side of the record, the records tend to be a little bit dish warped because labels actually serve an integral part of the record pressing process. They cool the center of the record when it's in the mold. So when the label's not there, the record doesn't cool as well, or it, it just has different characteristics. So you have to keep in mind that there could be a little bit of an anomaly on your records. Um, they also take a lot longer to make because of the additional cooling cycles required. So that's why they cost extra when you do no labels. Sometimes that seems counterintuitive. You're paying extra for something that you don't have on the record, but it all comes down to how the records need to be made. You can get plain white labels or plain black labels. Um, this means there's nothing printed on there at all. Uh, it means totally blank white or totally blank black, no text whatsoever. Not a very common option, but sometimes people will do it. We're going to go with full color labels on our illustration here. Um, the next step, it asks you if it's a multi-disc set or a single LP. Uh, we're going to stick with single LP. Wax Mage copies. Uh, if you're not familiar what Wax Mage is, it is a label run by a Got a Groove employee. And you can click on the link, it'll take you to the Wax Mage website, it tells you a little bit about what's available. Uh, these are very, very limited edition special color variants. And uh, you can order up to 25. And what that means is the Wax Mage employee will make 25. Wax Mage editions of your record, and you can submit an order or a, a request form after you've placed the order if you have any specific requests. Otherwise, 
he does a really good job of surprising you with something really special that goes with your record artwork or goes with the theme of your record or whatever it may be. Again, those are limited to 25 copies per order, and that's where you would order. We're, we're going to leave that off for now. Uh, extra test pressings. You can order up to 25 extra test pressings. Again, you have five copies included by default. Uh, these extras are just, you know, if you're selling them or giving away or whatever it might be, this is where you'd add the extra test pressings. We're going to leave that off for now. So our step one subtotal, which includes everything that we put in the cart above, which would be 500 black records, $50 more for test cuts, $100 more for full color labels. Step one adds up to 1825. So then we go to step two. Step two is separated into four separate subcategories. All of this has to do with print and packaging options. So the first box would be inner sleeves. Again, on standard weight records, plain white inner sleeves are included by default. These are all of the non-printed upgrades. So there's the rice paper. Uh, this is what we include by default on 180 gram records. Uh, it does have the Gotta Groove logo on there, uh, but they are nice anti-static inner sleeves. We have plain white polylined, plain black polylined, and then we have two printed options, black and white or full color. And as with anything in the record builder, you click it, gives you a couple other options sometimes, and then it adds the price to the total of your order. So on inner sleeves, the two standard stocks are 100 pound gloss paper or uncoated text paper. Uh, we prefer to only use text paper on inner sleeves. Uh, sometimes people will, will request cardstock inner sleeves. We will use them. Uh, you'll have to get a special quote, uh, but we can do them if you insist. The main thing that we uh, want you to know, though, is cardstock inner sleeves tend to cause scuffs on the face of the record. Those scuffs don't generally cause sound issues, but they can be a little ugly. So we do encourage you to go with uh, text paper inner sleeves, which are our standard options, or with one of the non-printed options above. Uh, you have the option of die cut holes, yes or no. Uh, we're going to stick with no. Actually, uh, for our purposes of our illustration, we're just going to stick with the standard plain white paper inner sleeves. Step 2B goes into jackets. Has all of the standard jacket options here, direct to board, that's the most common type of jacket in the marketplace today. What it means is your print is being done directly onto the cardstock. This is different from the traditional style of record jacket referred to as tip-on jackets, where the print is done on a separate sheet of paper that gets wrapped and glued to a corrugated core. We actually have some very unique options for our gate folds. We have film lamination on both the inside and outside, and the cores are modeled after Japanese style tip-on jackets. Uh, they're really nice, uh, but these are the options here. We also make the standard single pocket tip-on jacket, um, which is a little bit more of what you see in the marketplace more commonly. It's not laminated. Uh, it can have a brown or a white core inside, and uh, it's a little bit less expensive than the gatefold tip-ons. For purposes of all our, our illustration though, here we're gonna go with just the direct-to-board print. There's a few different options. Single pocket standard, we're gonna click that. That's like your normal record jacket. A wide spine would be if you're ordering a double LP. Uh, similar to a gatefold jacket, you can do this if you're doing a double LP, or if you're doing a single LP, sometimes you wanna do a gatefold jacket because you have a lot of artwork. And if you're doing a single LP, by default, the left pocket will be glued shut so that the record will go in the right pocket. We also have a triple gatefold. Again, you can have just one pocket open. Uh, if you're doing a single LP and you just have a lot of artwork and you wanna have three panels on the inside, three panels on the outside, this is the option to pick. Uh, otherwise, you stick with the single pocket jacket and you'll see there's some additional options in terms of finishes and upgrades, uh, matte finish, UV gloss, which is super, super shiny. Uncoated print, also sometimes referred to as reverse board, is uh, where you're printing on the uncoated side of the board, so it's the least shiny option you can do, but you also have to keep in mind that the inks saturate into the board and they cause the colors to look a bit muted. Uh, brown chipboard, uh, matte with spot gloss, 
You can do foil stomping, stamping and embossing. These two options though, the price will not automatically be generated in the record builder and that's because the pricing is very dependent upon the design specifics. So if you have that, just call us or email us and we can give you a custom quote based upon your artwork. Today, we're gonna stick with the standard gloss finish. That's what most jackets are. Uh, if your art is black and white instead of full color, you can check this box. It's a little bit cheaper for black and white. Uh, 24 point stock, also an upgrade for direct to board. It's just a little bit stiffer of a stock. It's not noticeably thicker. So if you're just looking for something visually thicker, this probably is not necessary, but it is a little bit stiffer in terms of uh, bendability of the board, so to speak. Pantone colors, uh, usually those only come into play if you're talking about a metallic color on your jacket or some fluorescent colors on your jacket. Uh, for most people, non-metallic colors, you're going to be able to do your build in CMYK and it's going to look virtually identical to a Pantone ink if you were going to go with a Pantone ink. Uh, but if you want to call us, if you have any questions about doing Pantones, we encourage that. Sometimes there are specific reasons to do it. We're going to leave it off for now. Uh, but if you were to pick one, this is where you'd type in the Pantone number and you'd have to have it integrated into your design. Uh, sequential numbering. This is a cool option we have. We actually have a foil stamper that will stamp a number into your jacket. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, there are some limitations as to where you can place it on the jacket, so we encourage you to call us if uh, if you have any questions on that. But this is where you would add that. And again, any of these add-ons, you'll see you click them, and then it will add itself to your jacket price, which is right here. Uh, we're going to leave that off for now. So we're just basically ordering the very simple single pocket jacket with the standard gloss finish, which the price is five seventy five, dollars and that's where it'll be listed. Uh, any other notes you want to put in there, um, really anything you want to tell us about your art, feel free to type in. Uh, it takes us to step 2C, which is lyric sheet inserts, uh, poster style inserts. These are the standard sizes that we have. If you have a larger size or a custom size you want to do, no problem. Just call us or email us and we can give you a quote. Uh, booklets. Say you're sending us something to put inside the jackets for you. Uh, this is where you tell us how many of those you're sending. So uh, that means how many per package. So if you have like a postcard and a sticker sheet, you put two. And basically it costs six cents per unit for each item that you send us to put into the jacket. We're going to leave that at zero for now. Um, but if you did pick that, we just want you to tell us what you're sending us here. Uh, and if there's anything that hasn't been covered already, you can click that and just tell us more information. Um, but again, we'll leave that blank to keep this simple. Uh, finally, the last option in step two would be download codes. Uh, we host download codes that got a groove. Uh, we have a coupon that we print a thumbnail of your album cover, and then there's instructions on how to redeem the code. Uh, you would upload an MP3 version as well as a high resolution audio version. You can even do a video too. Um, and we host that. Uh, they're hosted forever, or as long as we're around. And uh, each code is only redeemable once. If you have any questions, you can call us or email us. Uh, you can also supply download slips from a third party, similar to the inserts mentioned above. Uh, cost six cents a piece. And you do have to send them to us already cut up and ready to be inserted into the jackets if you go with that. Uh, for this, hey, we're gonna put in Gotta Groove Downloads just so you can see that it adds it to the step two pricing. This would be uh, $7.75 because it's the price of the jackets, $5.75 plus the price of the downloads, which is $200. And then finally, step three, uh, and sometimes people will overlook step three and uh, you don't wanna do that. There's some important options in here. Uh, outer wrap in particular, um, whether you do shrink wrap or poly bags, thing you have to keep in mind is you can ship records that are not shrink wrapped or poly bagged, but those jackets are going to rub against each other while they're in transit. And that can leave little marks or ring wear on the face of the jackets. Some types of artwork are more susceptible to showing it than others. For example, if you have almost all black coverage or if you have almost all white coverage, those tend to show it the most. So we do encourage you to consider one of the wrap options. We like poly bags because they're better for the environment 
because most people don't throw their poly bags away. They keep their records in them. So we're going to pick that for our record that we're building right now. Uh, the options here for poly bags are no poly bags, stuffed into poly bags. That means we're fully assembling everything for you. We're putting your jackets into the poly bags for you. Um, you can order poly bags separately. Say you want to stuff them yourself. Again, just keep in mind your jackets might get a little scuffed up. Um, but we're going to go with stuffed in the poly bags for option. Uh, if you want to do marketing stickers, these are the basic shapes and sizes that we offer. Uh, we, we can really do any size or shape you want. Uh, we don't have templates for everything because like, there's just a, a million different options for stickers. Uh, maybe not a million, but there's a lot. And um, so if, if none of these options work for you, just email us or call us and tell us what your specs are. We'll give you a price and um, you can set up your art however you'd like. Um, these are the options for sticking the stickers onto the various wrap. Uh, costs a little less to stick them on the shrink wrap because it can be done with a machine. Sticking them on the poly bags costs a little bit more just because we have to do it by hand. Um, you can order a barcode from us. What the heck, we'll put a barcode on our record. Cost $39 for that. Basically, we send you um, a unique barcode that you can use for your record. You can register it with your distributor or whoever. And we're basically guaranteeing you that we're not going to sell that same barcode to anyone else. Um, this gives you your grand total. So this is the grand total of all three steps. Step one, step two, step three, which is the records, plus the print, plus any miscellaneous assembly items. And then it breaks it out per unit cost of $5.63 for our record that we're building right now. Uh, kind of a fun tool is, you know, you can see if you're going to make any money. So say we're going to sell it for $20 and we think we're going to sell 300 of the 500 well this is how much money we'll make if we do that and then obviously if we sell all 500 which would be sweet then it increases what we'll make um so this is uh the last step of the actual building process in the record builder if you're just looking to price things out you can just stop where things are right now uh, but then if you are continuing on to place an actual order, you click that button and then it takes you to the final page, which just has all of your record specific information, contact information, um, did I group records, uh, this is our first time making a record, no, uh, we just like to know sometimes if it's your first time, um, cause it can help us to know what to tell you or things you might be missing. Uh, requested delivery date. Um, we ask that you do look at the turnaround that's published on our website. This is always updated in essentially real time, so you can rely upon it. So uh, we just want to make sure you've taken a look at that. And once you've done so, you can click and say you've read it. If you have a specific event or something, type it in here. If you don't, then we just get to get the records done as fast as we possibly can. We do like to know about events, though, uh, so definitely give us as much information as you can. Um, okay, we're going to go with rock and roll for our title. Artist and title, yeah, I know it's lame, but that's all I can think of quickly. Uh, scribe number, matrix number, this is what goes into the lead out of your record. Um, letter number combination, uh, doesn't really matter what it is, make it up totally arbitrary we just need it to be something uh something unique so something better than just zero zero one this is the way we can visually identify your parts so it's important in the manufacturing process also if you have a little matrix message um, feel free to type that here if you don't have anything just leave it blank and we'll sign it for you this box just making sure that you've read that you do really need to have your audio mastered for vinyl uh, or you're kind of just taking a roll of the dice if you're not. Or, you know, if you're um, supplying the audio from a mastering engineer or if you're hiring us to master the, the uh, audio for vinyl, uh, really, if any of these things apply, you click the box. If they don't, call us because one of them is going to apply and, and maybe uh, we can just better explain it over the phone. Uh, RPM, we'll just pick 33 because that's most common for LPs. This is where you put your track order, your side split, uh, sometimes called a time log. Uh, a lot of times mastering engineers will automatically generate a time log when they will create your vinyl masters. And if you have that document, you don't have to paste it here. Just send it to us with the audio. That's fine. Um, it is important, especially if the audio is coming as a single 
file for each side of the record, which is the most common way that vinyl masters are prepared. We do need a time log to tell us where the individual songs are contained within those side files. Otherwise, we don't have a great way to know. We don't want to take a guess because sometimes it can look like there's a song change, but it's not really a song change. So it's really important to send us the information so that we have what we need. Test pressing address. If you don't know yet, TBD is A-OK -okay to put there, and we'll just contact you before we ship anything. Uh, final shipping addresses. Information goes right here. Uh, you can put TBD again there, no problem. Uh, including insurance. Uh, commonly, people will do this. Uh, when you ship on a pallet, there's actually some insurance built into it already from freight carriers for shipping UPS. Um, usually costs anywhere from $30 to $50, depending on the size of the order. Uh, not a bad idea to include it, but it really, uh, when you're shipping it UPS or FedEx, it's only going to co cover things that are visible damage to the packages themselves. So it only goes so far. Uh, triple boxing is actually a much more effective thing when you're shipping via UPS ground or FedEx ground. Um, in my opinion, way more important than insurance, especially if you're shipping across the country. Uh, if it's going on a pallet, triple boxing doesn't apply because it's shipping on a pallet and the boxes are not going to get individually tossed around. Uh, if you have a lot of different separate shipping addresses, obviously we're putting TBD, we don't know that yet. Um, then anything not on the pallet, we would encourage you to ship triple box. We're actually in the future going to be moving towards defaulting to triple boxing. Uh, so this part of the order form might change by the time you're placing an order. It just depends. Uh, but triple boxing is always a good idea when something's not shipped on a pallet. Um, anytime you do records, there's going to be leftover parts, whether it's leftover labels, leftover jackets, whatever it might be, especially if you order two or 300 records, sometimes you might wind up with a couple hundred extra jackets. Uh, this is where you tell us what to do with them. And we basically have two options. We will ship them to you. You're not getting charged for the extras. So say you ordered 300 records and 300 jackets, you're paying the 300 price, even if you get 200 or 300 extra jackets. But it does impact your freight costs. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't want them, you know, you're never going to repress the record again. This is a one-time deal. Uh, we can just scrap them for you no problem uh, sales tax really only applies if you are in Ohio because we're based in Ohio or if you're picking up your order in person but even then there's a form you can fill out uh, called the Ohio blanket certificate of exemption which will send to you if it applies and it basically just says you are selling your records you're not just hoarding them in your basement or giving them away as gifts and using them consuming them for a personal reason uh, if you're reselling them in the state of Ohio, then you don't necessarily have to pay sales tax. Finally, very important step not to gloss over is our terms of service. Uh, similar to anything you buy online, uh, it's a PDF that you read. It's kind of long. It's not really that long, and we try to keep this language pretty simple. Uh, we do want you to save a copy of that because it does answer a lot of questions that might come up along the way. Uh, but once you've read it, click You Agree. You have to agree if you're placing an order. Uh, and then finally, it's just saying that you are agreeing to everything again. Uh, we do make an additional mention about uncleared samples of audio here. Um, that's a big issue. Not a big issue, but it's a common issue. Uh, you put like a, a clip from a movie or a TV show or something in your audio. Well, unfortunately, we can't press the records unless that clip is cleared with the copyright holder. That can be an uphill battle sometimes. So sometimes it's just better not to even have the clip in there. Uh, but uh, whatever it might be, you can call us if you have any questions. But at the end of the day, we do need you to clear all the samples before we can press the records. Uh, so if everything looks good, sign your name. Tell us any other random notes here, uh, referral source, and then submit the order. Uh, assuming everything was filled in, you'll get this screen. If you missed a field, It'll tell you that you missed a field, and you'll just have to go back up and see which one was missing and, um, and address that. Uh, you will get uh, email right now as well saying, hey, we've got your order, but we're processing it. Um, we actually have to go over all the information just to make sure we have it all straight, as well as to make sure that you have it all straight. So that's why it's not completely automated at this step as much as we'd like it to be. So you might have to wait a day sometimes, depending on what time of day you're placing this order. Say if it's 4 o'clock Eastern, 
Uh, you're probably not going to get your final confirmation until the next business day. But if you place it pretty early in day, you'll usually get the confirmation on the same day. You'll have the cost breakdown of everything you just ordered, which match up with what you put in the record builder. Um, it'll have some instructions on how to upload files, and it'll have a uh, payment form attached as well as PayPal instructions. That payment form is here as well. And of course, you can call us with payment information too. Um, that is pretty much it for the record builder and placing an order with Gotta Groove. Uh, you can reach us at 800 295 0171, and we look forward to working with you soon.